Hi everyone. In this video, we will bring you top 10 most expensive dog breeds in 2022 and their information. Man's best friend is said to be a dog, but these friends can be pricey, especially if they are purebred pedigrees. They are expensive due to a variety of factors. Because of their scarcity or purity of breed, they can be extremely expensive. The one-year-old golden-haired Tibetan Mastiff was recently sold in China for nearly $2 million, making it the most expensive. Below, you will find our list of the world's 10 most expensive dog breeds and their information. 10. Chow Chow The Chow Chow is ranked number 10 on our list of the most expensive dog breeds, with prices ranging from $3,000 to $9,000. It originated in China where it is known as Song Shi Quan, which translates to Puffy Lion Dog. It is a very old breed, dating back to around 300 BC. Chow Chows are thought to have been used as hunting, birding, and guard dogs. It is a medium-sized dog with a large head and round muzzle, and its blue-black tongue and lion-like coat distinguish it. Chow Chows are a truly unique breed, loyal to their owners and prized by dog fanciers for their regal appearance. The Chow Chow is a medium-sized dog ranging in height from 17 to 20 inches and in weight from 50 pounds to 75 pounds, 23 to 34 kilograms. The Chow Chow is a square dog with post-like straight legs. The straight legs contribute to a somewhat stilted gait. The Chow Chow has erect ears, a broad skull, and a tail curled up over the back. The trademark characteristic is, of course, the blue black dome. The facial wrinkles often obscured by hair give the Chow Chow a scowling expression. For his size, the Chow Chow is a strong, sturdy dog. It has two coat types. We are most familiar with the rough or longer coat. This is a straight, off-standing coat, which gives Chow Chow puppies a fuzzy, teddy bear appearance. The smooth coat is a shorter variation. Both coat types have a dense undercoat. Chow Chows are most commonly seen in red or black coloration but any solid color is acceptable. Chow Chows are not typically outgoing or social dogs. They are wary of strangers and can be aggressive toward other dogs. This is consistent with their history as home and livestock guard dogs. Early socialization with other dogs, pets, and humans is critical. If their alarm barking is not controlled, Chow Chows can become nuisance barkers. Chow Chows are fairly intelligent, but they have both an independent and a stubborn streak so training them can be a challenge. To do well in competitions, they require a firm, patient trainer who has plenty of creativity. Chow Chows are fiercely protective and need training to control this guarding tendency. Chow Chows are loyal and protective of their owners. They require a lot of early socialization, including exposure to children. Come good family pets. Chow Chows benefit from training to clarify their place in the family. Otherwise, they can become dominant. Despite the difficulties of training, some Chow Chows compete and perform admirably in obedience and agility. Grooming differs depending on the coat type. A rough-coated Chow Chow benefits from daily grooming to keep his coat free of tangles. Smooth-coated dogs only need to be groomed once or twice a week. Because the thick coat can trap dirt and debris, special care should be taken to keep the eyes and facial folds clean. History The Chow Chow is perhaps the most ancient of the Chinese breeds of dogs. The breed can be traced back for thousands of years, and it is often questioned whether the Chow Chow developed from Spitz-type dogs or whether Spitz-type dogs developed from the Chow Chow. The Chow Chow was a dog of many hats right from the start. These dogs have been known as sled pullers, hunters, livestock guarders, and, unfortunately for them, dinner. The very name Chow Chow may come from the Chinese shoe for edible, although most historians feel that the name is from the slang for curios, with the Chow Chow most certainly being an Oriental Curio. The Chow Chow reached the Western world in the late 1800s and began a rise to popularity, which has landed it in the top 10 American Kennel Club breeds. The breed has not fared so well in its native land where many Chow Chows were eliminated during the Cultural Revolution. Ooh, generally, this breed requires about two to two cups of good quality dried dog food each day, given in two feedings. This amount will vary, however, based upon your child's activity level and age. Discuss the optimal diet and quantity of food for your Chow Chow with his veterinarian. Alone time. The Chow Chow doesn't mind spending time alone, as long as he gets adequate exercise. If he must spend full days at home while you go to work, 
Make sure a person your child knows and likes can come and take him for a walk. Life expectancy, 8 to 12 years. Chow chows require brushing about three days per week, whether they are rough or smooth coated. During seasonal shedding, daily brushing helps keep fur under control. It's important to wet the hair while brushing it so the fur doesn't break, as well as to brush down to the base of the fur to prevent matting that can lead to skin problems. Clean your chow chow's ears with a gentle, dog friendly cleanser to prevent dirt buildup that can cause infections. Brush his teeth several times a week and trim his nails every month or so to prevent cracking. Common health issues. Chow chows may be prone to some breed specific health concerns, such as 1. Canine hip and elbow dysplasia. 2. Gastric tossing. 3. Elongated palate. 4. Eye disorders, including glaucoma and cataracts. 5. Patella luxation. You can minimize serious health concerns in a chow chow by purchasing from a reputable breeder who engages in responsible breeding practices and through screening for common diseases and conditions. Trainability. Basics. Chow chows are intelligent, but also highly independent and stubborn. Training at all levels from house training to advanced obedience classes takes time and patience. They will learn the rules of your home when training is consistent and positive. Socialization is particularly important with this breed, who can be aggressive with other dogs and gruff with strangers if these traits are tolerated. Advanced training. Chow chows generally prefer long walks with their favorite person over agility tests or dog sports. However, to keep your dog active and engaged, agility training is a good idea. Just keep the training sessions short and change them up so your child doesn't get frustrated and refuse to participate altogether. Sporting dog training. Chow chows don't have the temperament or energy to be a quality hunting partner. Their facial wrinkles also give them poor peripheral vision which means they won't be much help in the field. The Farrow Hound, Malta's national dog, ranks ninth on the list of the most expensive dog breeds, with prices ranging from $3,000 to $7,000. They have very little body fat and are excellent jumpers, making them one of the most attractive dogs. Although they have no connection to ancient Egypt, a popular myth holds that the breed is descended from the Tessim, an ancient Egyptian hunting dog. Intelligent, and occasionally stubborn, they are self-sufficient and easily fatigued by repetitive commands. The Pharaoh Hound is a medium-sized canine variety from Egypt with a long and slim form, enormous, pointed ears, and a short, shiny coat. This breed has been utilized to chase bunnies on the island of Malta for millennia. A portion of these canines are known to get defensive toward an exceptional Pharaoh dog grin and they likewise have a particularly uncommon trademark they can become flushed when they're invigorated, procuring the epithet becoming flush canine of Malta. Qualities of the Pharaoh Hound The fun Pharaoh dog is a vivacious canine variety with a lively character, consistently keen on what's happening in the family. This sight hound reproduced to chase by sight is accustomed to working in packs, and that implies it's particularly canine amicable and coexists well with new individuals. Kids and the carefree feral dog make incredible close companions, albeit these disorderly canines could incidentally thump over a little youngster on the off chance that not regulated by grown-ups. This breed has a high prey drive, so while feral dogs can do well with felines when raised together, they are probably going to pursue different pets like birds and little warm-blooded creatures. They tend to bark at dubious sounds to alarm their loved ones. Since feral dogs have such a cordial personality with people, they are bound to draw an outsider in play than to monitor the home front. Warmth level, high. Friendliness, high. Kid friendly, high. Pet friendly, medium. Practice needs, high. Playfulness, high. Energy level, high. Trainability, medium. Intelligence, high. Propensity to bark, high. Measure of shedding, low. History of the feral dog. One of the most established recorded canine varieties, the feral dog, began in Egypt millennia prior. Proof of the variety's antiquated history lives on today in lovely showstoppers portraying feral dogs. These figures and compositions found in Egyptian sanctuaries date as far back as 4400 C. Eventually ever, the feral dog was brought to the Mediterranean island of Malta, potentially by the Phoenicians, where the canines were utilized to chase bunnies. The feral dog has been known in Malta for over 2,000 years, 
where it has remained essentially unaltered from progenitors, are seen improving Egyptian burial places. Today, the pharaoh dog is the public dog of Malta. It was first enrolled with the American Pet Hotel Club in 1983 and is currently an individual from the dog gathering. Work out, the pharaoh dog was destined to run, and it needs suitable source for this bountiful energy. Give everyday running open doors in a securely encased region. And remember a couple of day-to-day -day strolls for your daily schedule, too. More youthful canines should extend their legs all the more regularly three or four times each day. Yet more established feral dogs can generally be happy with around 30 minutes of activity each day. While getting sufficient action, feral dogs are for the most part happy to use whatever is left of their day in winding at home, maybe with an unrehearsed play meeting inside. An incredible source for pharaoh dogs is the canine game of draw flowing pursuing a phony hair across a field. Preparing. The pharaoh dog's shirt, fine coat sheds very little. Genuinely low maintenance, the pharaoh dog requires little brushing and rare washing. A straightforward week after week, quite down over the body with the soggy material is in many cases everything necessary to keep the coat reflexive. Pharaoh dogs don't commonly have doggy smell, so wash just when filthy. Clean the ears week by week with a pet safe ear cleaner and trim the nails consistently. Since the pharaoh dog jacket is extremely flimsy, they don't endure cold well. Giving especially chilly climate care to this breed is suggested. They can't be left external in chilly climate, and numerous pharaoh dog proprietors outfit their canines in comfortable coats for winter strolls. Indeed, even inside, pharaoh dogs feel the chill of winter. Downy coats or even wool nightwear are suggested by the Faro Dog Club of America, which is the public parent club for the variety in the U.S. These canines likewise love to cuddle under sweeping with their proprietors to keep warm. Faro dogs have a high prey drive and will pursue anything they see or smell. Along these lines, Faro dogs can never be off-road or they might take off, perhaps into perilous circumstances like cars moving the opposite direction. While steady preparation can assist with further developing your canine's review abilities, it's ideal to keep your feral dog on a chain or in a securely encased wall for exercise, play, and instructional meetings. Eight, Akita. Number eight for the most costly canine varieties is the Japanese Akita, which can sell for no less than $3,500. It is an enormous spitz, solid, predominant, and free variety that is ordinarily detached with outsiders and more friendly towards relatives. As a variety, Akitas are for the most part solid. However, they have been known to experience the ill effects of different hereditary circumstances and be delicate to specific medications. The Akita is an enormous, strong canine with a distinctly duff appearance. Being just somewhat longer than he is tall, the Akita's appearance is even. The full, twisted tail is proportionate with the enormous head. The male Akita remains somewhere in the range of 26 and 28 inches and weighs around 110 pounds 50 kilograms. The female is somewhere in the range of 24 and 26 inches and weighs around 80 pounds 36 kilograms. The expansive chest and neck of the Akita act as a strong base for the enormous head, the Akita's most distinctive element. The wide head and short gag structure an unpolished triangle when seen from the top. The Akita has little eyes and erect ears, giving the variety an extremely honorable articulation. The body is solid and the legs are straight areas of strength for Anne. The tail is enormous and full and conveyed high, normally twisted over the body. The layer of the Akita is short to medium long and extremely thick. I thick. Delicate undercoat makes the Akita appropriate to colder environments, albeit the coat will disperse extensively during hotter months. The external coat, or watchman hair, is somewhat longer and coarser. Some Akitas have long hair, and albeit not right for reasons for show, they are alluring canines by their own doing. Shades of the Akita incorporate white, model, and pinto. White Akitas have no veil. Pinto has a white foundation with enormous patches of variety covering the body. The undercoat might be an alternate tone from the external coat. However, the varieties are in every case clear and strong. The striking appearance of the Akita has added to its consistent development and prevalence. Character. The Akita was never reared to live or work in gatherings, rather to be distant from everyone else or in a couple. 
the present Akita mirrors that reproducing. The Akita is glad to be a main canine and can be forceful toward different canines not in his family bunch. Appropriately mingled, an Akita can figure out how to injure different creatures, yet will no doubt attempt to keep his status as big cheese at any expense. The Akita is faithful and warm toward his loved ones, however very regional about his home and detached with outsiders. They are brilliant guard dogs and will possibly bark when there is really something out of order. The enormous size of the Akita can make him hard to control as isn't a variety reasonable for everybody. He has outrageous strength and perseverance and necessities committed preparing to assist him with appropriately diverting energy. Being a shrewd variety, notwithstanding, the Akita can undoubtedly become exhausted with preparing. He flourishes when tested and put to work, living with, despite the fact that the Akita is an enormous, tough variety. They have been reared for quite a long time as a buddy in the home. The unwaveringness and dedication they show is all around adored among Akita proprietors. Regularly, the Akita will follow you from one space to another in your home, as though its just reason in life is to safeguard you and stay with you. The Akita can, in any case, have forceful propensities. Normally, the animosity is toward different canines. They are not commonly forceful toward individuals however have exceptionally evolved assurance senses and mind ought to be taken when new individuals enter your home. Concerning kids in the home, the Akita will be as faithful toward them as any relative. Obviously, small kids overall ought to never be abandoned with any huge canines, particularly when they are new to the family. Notwithstanding their outrageous faithfulness, the Akita likes to keep extremely spotless and is effectively housebroken. These two attributes make them alluring to have in the home. Some have depicted the Akita as being nearly feline-like, as they are so perfect and unskinted. History The Akita starts in Japan, where he is viewed as delicate in heart and solid in strength. The variety gets its name from the prefecture of Akita, a part of northern Japan, where the variety was created through intersections of chow chows with Japanese carry and Tosa canines. Hundreds of years prior, the variety was claimed simply by the royal heads of the country. Initially, the Akita's occupation was to chase, watchmen, and crowd. This quick, strong canine was fantastic in his capacity to follow enormous game including deer, elk, and wild bear. The Akita keeps on being viewed as an unwavering and brave canine, and the Japanese presently utilize the Akita as a police canine. Known as an image of security, Japanese guardians frequently get a little sculpture of an Akita when their youngster is conceived. The Akita isn't just an image of insurance, yet additionally one of well-being, bliss, and long life. In 1931, the public authority of Japan proclaimed the Akita breed to be a public landmark and one of Japan's irreplaceable assets. Helen Keller was the primary individual to carry the Akita to the U.S. In 1937, on a visit to the prefecture of Akita, she remarked on the amount she respected the variety and might want to have one of her own. Her boldness had motivated individuals of Japan, and as a token of regard, she was given a doggy named Comet Cause Ego. Albeit this little dog passed on early on, she was lucky to get a second Akita and partaken in his friendship for a long time. 7. Chinese Crested Hairless In that no, Seven of the most costly canine varieties is the Chinese Peak Smooth Canine. A little canine has a solitary layer of fur. It's one of the most colorful canines in view of its odd appearance. Sticker price is $5,000. The Chinese Peak is a little variety in the toy bunch that to some degree looks like the notable Chihuahua. In any case, these local Chinese canines have generally bald bodies with huge puffs of hair on their heads, paws, and tails. Relatively few varieties stop people in their tracks than this one because of its attractive appearance. About portion of Chinese peak canines are as a matter of fact powder puffs, a variety of the variety that has fur all through their bodies. While thinking about which pet to bring back, it's vital to go past looks. The Chinese peak is likewise a splendid, friendly little canine with a merry character. These conservative canines are shockingly lively and very teachable giving them a triumphant character to go with their one-of-a-kind looks. Breed outline, bunch toy, level, 11 to 13 inches, weight, 8 to 12 pounds, coat, delicate, velvety hair just present on the head, feet, and tail or powder puff completely covered assortment, coat tone, white, dim, or dark hair, and dim, 
pink or earthy color skin with white patches. Life length, 13 to 18 years. Disposition, enthusiastic, fun-loving, lively, astute, solo, amicable, hypoallergenic, yes, beginning, China. Attributes of the Chinese peak canine. These little canines are known for being brilliant, lively, and cordial. Their perky characters are useful with regards to getting their practice in. However, this canine doesn't need as much actual work as brandishing or hunting types of comparable size. Your Chinese peak canine will probably be happy with a respectable walk and a couple of play meetings every day. Since this breed is profoundly keen, it additionally succeeds with preparing and appreciates taking part in everyday family life. Its little size and moderate activity necessities pursue the Chinese peak an amazing decision for loft living. Love level, high. Friendliness, high. Kid friendly, medium. Pet friendly, medium. Practice needs, medium. Playfulness, high. Energy level, medium. Trainability, high. Intelligence, high. Propensity to bark, high. Measure of shedding, low. History of the Chinese peak canine. This breed is old to the point that Tiny has had some significant awareness of its set of experiences. The best verifiable speculation is that a huge bald variety of canine was brought to China, where it was limited into another variety. These canines immediately became renowned as the rodent exterminators of Chinese boats, similar as the shipwreck breed on Belgian boats. The boat-going nature of this breed implies that varieties can be viewed as around the world. European voyagers noticed that there were minimal bear canines, most likely Chinese peaked little guys all through Africa, Asia, Focal America, and South America. A couple of ladies in the last part of the 1800s got the variety to fame the U.S. Ida Garrett was a productive essayist and speaker who carried popularity and interest to the variety. In the interim, Deborah Woods laid out a rearing project with very much kept the books. In 1991, the Chinese peak was perceived as an individual from the toy gathering in the American Pet Hotel Club by Casey and turned into a registrable variety. 6. Tibetan Mastiff At no. 6 in our rundown is the Tibetan Mastiff, beginning from Tibet, China, Nepal, Ladakh, and Focal Asia. This is costly variety, which can normally go for around $5,000, $9,000. Presently, albeit one of these canines left a mark on the world by being sold for $2 million in China, it actually doesn't make it as by and large the most costly canine varieties. It is a group watchman canine in many regions of the planet, and in this manner rests in the day to be more ready around evening time. The Tibetan Mastiff is an interesting and huge sized canine variety from China with a monstrous, transcending outline, streaming mane, and careful articulation. The variety is supposed to be basically as heavenly and ready as a lion. Utilized in Tibet for millennia as strong and forcing bequest gatekeepers, the Pimposis, looking after its home and family with perpetual constancy. Breed outline, bunch, working, level, 24 to 26 inches, call at the shoulder, weight, 70 to 150 pounds, coat, two-fold external coat is fine yet hard, straight, and deadlock. Undercoat is weighty, delicate, and woolly. Coat tone, dark, brown, blue dim, or gold. Life range, 10 to 12 years. Disposition, clever, defensive, solid-willed, tireless, detached, hypoallergenic, no. Beginning, China Tibet. Attributes of the Tibetan Mastiff. In the right hands, the Tibetan Mastiff breed gives and matched reliability, dedication, and assurance to its loved ones. The varieties watching impulses are elevated around evening time, and many canines of this kind can bark uproariously and unreasonably at night hours. It's ideal to keep your mastiff inside around evening time to try not to annoy your neighbors. Ensure you have a protected wall to hold your canine back from meandering day or night. A few Tibetan mastiffs are forceful towards different canines and should be avoided odd canines. In similar family, Keeping canines of the other gender will in general have improved results than claiming two guys or two females. Fondness level low, friendliness low, kid friendly medium, pet friendly low, practice needs low, playfulness low, energy level low, trainability low, intelligence high, propensity to bark medium, measure of shedding medium, history of the Tibetan Mastiff. Because of the confinement of its nation of beginning, 
and in absence of put-down rearing accounts, the Tibetan Mastiff's set of experiences is covered in secret. We in all actuality do realize that the Tibetan Mastiff is an old variety that has existed in Focal Asia for millennia. The Tibetan Mastiff breed was first acquainted with the Western world in 1847 when it was brought to Britain and went into the Pet Hotel Club's most memorable stud book. Over 100 years after the fact, the variety at last advanced toward the U.S. during the 1950s. The American Tibetan Mastiff Affiliation, which is the public club for the variety in the U.S., framed in 1974, and the variety got full acknowledgement with the American Pet Hotel Club in 2006. It was not unbelievable to pay up of $200,000 for a Tibetan Mastiff pup in China in the right on time to mid-2000s when it was a priority canine for the status cognizant. Today, the canine is presently not well known abroad where certain areas of China have deserted and prohibited the variety. Experts, extraordinary watchman canine, doesn't need a ton of activity, sheds almost no beyond the occasional shedding in spring or summer, cons, might be hard to prepare, profoundly regional, requires escalated socialization, might be forceful with different canines, particularly peculiar canines on their property. 5. Canadian Eskimo Canine at no. 5 in our rundown of the universe's most costly canine varieties is Canadian Eskimo, which is frequently viewed as one of North America's most established and most uncommon excess thoroughbred native homegrown canines. It's a strong canine, and it's athletic. Many have an overwhelming appearance and hence could be viewed as great gatekeeper canines. Sticker price is $6,000. The cutting-edge Canadian Eskimo canine has held the senses of a wild creature. Tirelessness, perseverance, and the soul of opportunity are the functioning characteristics of the imposing. In troublesome atmospheric conditions, canines have at least a few times helped the man. They became moves and conveyed weighty burdens. There is no equivalent to them regarding riding and perseverance. History of beginning. There is no agreement on the beginning of the Eskimo imposing. The main delegates were seen over a long time back. A few researchers believe the frozen north to be the country. Some consider eastern Siberia. Others believe Greenland to be the country. One thing is known. Canadian Eskimo canines come from the far north. The country left an engraving on the variety delegates. An enormous hold of essentialness and perseverance, which assists them with remaining dynamic in outrageous circumstances. From the beginning of time, Canadian Eskimo canines have tried sincerely and persevered through difficulties. This lifestyle has formed their appearance, a harsh look with areas of strength for a person. The variety has been minimal considered and is as of now at risk for eradication. The unaided eye can see the wolf's propensities in the way of behaving of cutoff points. Albeit the variety has a place with the spits. Delegates scarcely bark however produce a long wail, suggestive of the wolf. In Greenland and the frozen north, the creatures were utilized as sled canines, hunting bears, and other natural life. Today the Eskimo imposing has no equivalent with regards to transportation. They can deal with a wide range of freight and significant distances. The cutting-edge advancement of the Kemets happened in the last part of the 1980s. Razors were so completely participated in the rebuilding of the variety that the Canadian Pet Hotel Club formally acknowledged Eskimo Huskies. The principal agents were enlisted in 1986. After a decade, the Canadian Eskimo canine was added toward the Northern Varieties Bunch by the Unified Pet Hotel Club. Appearance, level, weight, fur, variety. The presence of Canadian Eskimo canines relates to the Spitz type. Simultaneously, there is a likeness to wolves. What's more, in appearance as well as in character. They are blessed with the minimized, enormous form and created muscular build. The tail of the variety is raised and established high. The fleece is of northern beginning, with a long textured coat and thick undercoat. Its two-layered structure helps the creature effectively endure freezing temperatures. Eskimo huskies have a huge head with a wedge-molded gag. The chump is scissor-molded. The eyes are brown. Their long legs and strong body permit the canines to convey huge burdens for significant distances. 40 kilometers in the virus is only a get ready for delegates of the variety. The person, the cutting edge Canadian Eskimo canine has held the senses of a wild creature. Tirelessness, perseverance, and the soul of opportunity are the functioning characteristics of the imposing.
In troublesome weather patterns, canines have at least a couple of times helped the man. They became ships and conveyed weighty burdens. There is no equivalent to them with regards to riding and perseverance. At the point when an Eskimo imposing comes into the house, it turns into a comfortable pet. She coexists well with kids and is prepared to play the entire day. She is given to her loved ones. Yet, outsiders find it hard to lay out contact with her. The canine is appropriate for private and ranch-style homes. It gets along better not in the actual house, but rather in open nook. Creatures are not planned for lofts. Or, German Shepherd, in that no. Or, as the most costly canine varieties on the planet must be the extremely savvy and flexible Alsatian, which can sell at the very least cost $6,500. German Shepherd was initially evolved to monitor and group runs of sheep yet today makes for an optimal sidekick and, in addition to other things, police, gatekeeper, war and search and salvage canine. As a result of their flexibility and range of abilities, a thoroughly prepared German Shepherd can be an exorbitant cost. German Shepherds are enormous canines known for their honorable, persistent, faithful, and exceptionally shrewd attitudes. They are described by a brown and dark coat and a smoothed out, athletic form that makes them both solid and light-footed. However, they are fantastic crowding canines. German Shepherds are likewise very appropriate to function as administration creatures, for example, guide canines for the visually impaired. They likewise perform well as working canines, particularly in police and military tasks, and make profoundly successful gatekeeper canines. Obviously, the German Shepherd canine likewise makes a brilliant sidekick in the right home. Breed outline, bunch, crowding, level 22 to 26 inches, weight 60 to 100 pounds, coat, coarse, medium length to fold coat, coat tone, most varieties are okay, like by color, dark and tan, dark and cream, dark and red, dark and silver, strong dark, dim, sable, note that blue, liver or white are troublesome in light of breed guidelines, life range, 7 to 10 years, Personality, savvy, fearless, ready, strong, steadfast, defensive. Hypoallergenic, no. Beginning, Germany. Qualities of the German Shepherd. As a variety, German Shepherds have a character that is defensive, steadfast, and friendly. Reared with areas of strength for an ethic, they are among the most famous canine varieties in the U.S., thanks by and large to their capacity to be extraordinary family canines. They love their kin, however, can be mindful around outsiders or newcomers and blossom with the consideration and consideration of their loved ones. Friendship, level high. Friendliness, medium. Kid friendly, high. Pet friendly, low. Practice needs, high. Playfulness, high. Energy level, medium. Trainability, high. Intelligence, high. Propensity to bark, high. Measure of shedding, high. History of the German Shepherd. The precursors of German Shepherd canines went about as the two workers and allies to people for many years. Created from old Shepherd and ranch canines, the German Shepherd canines we realize today were first presented in Germany in 1899. Chief Max von Stefanitz is credited with the variety's starting points. During Universal Conflicts I and II, German was dropped and the variety was alluded to as the Shepherd Canine or the Alsatian, a name that caught in certain districts. Overall interest in the variety started ascending in the mid-1900s, and the German Shepherd was perceived by the American Pet Hotel Club Bay Casey in 1908. In present-day times, the German Shepherd stays one of the most famous canine varieties, as of now positioning second in the AKC postings. Cross-rearing these canines with Shiloh Shepherds brought about Lord Shepherds. There is ongoing contention over the rearing of show canines to have an inclining back as opposed to the straight back seen with working canines. This training has been censured as prompting unfortunate step. 3. Samoyed Siberian canines that were reproduced by migrant reindeer herders for grouping and pulling sleds. Samoyeds today are one of the most costly canine varieties and are sold for between $6,500, $12,000. A cherishing and fun-loving variety coexists well with its family. They are great allies for small kids as well as in advanced age. It tends to be overprotective on occasion and are likewise known to be a peace obstinate. So it's vital to mingle them early and have a confident hand in preparing.
about the variety. The Samoyed is a significant yet elegant canine standing somewhere in the range of 19 to a piece north of 23 creeps at the shoulder. Strong, resolute, with a thick all-white coat and penetrable to cold, Samis are entirely gorgeous, however exceptionally useful. Indeed, even their most superb element, an unending grin, has a viable capability. The improved corners of the mouth hold Sammy's back from slobbering, keeping icicles from shaping on the face. A Sammy condemned to isolation in the yard is a hopeless and damaging animal. These are brilliant, social, devilish canines who request love and consideration. Sammy's need an extremely firm, however cherishing hand in preparing. As pack creatures, they should learn early who the alpha canine is, and the alpha canine should be you. Samoyeds, the grinning sled canines, were reared for difficult work on the planet's coldest regions. In the Siberian town of Oymyakin, for example, temperatures of short 60 degrees are normal. The Sami's renowned white coat is sufficiently thick to safeguard against such severe circumstances. Strong, spry, enthusiastic, impenetrable to cold, Sami's are stunning, however, exceptionally practical. Indeed, even their most brilliant element, a ceaseless grin has a down-to-earth capability. The mouth's improved corners hold Sammy's back from slobbering, keeping icicles from framing on the face. Two, Rottweiler. The Rottweiler comes to number two in our most costly canine varieties list. It is an enormous size variety of homegrown canine that is easygoing, tranquil, gave, and loyal. They are involved today as police, military, and friend canines. They can be excessively forceful to outsiders and different creatures, however, and needs legitimate socialization and preparing since early on. Rottweiler is valued for at least $7,000. The Rottweiler is among those breeds that can consider themselves as a part of the homegrown canines. This is a medium to a huge estimated canine or one basically an enormous canine. In the German language, these are called Rottweiler Metzgerhund, which implies Rottweil Butcher. The name is continued to owe to the explanation that their fundamental occupation was to crowd animals and drive trucks way down with butchered meat to the market. However, goodness, this proceeded exclusively until the rail lines supplanted the driving which occurred during the 1900 years. With the coming of the rail lines, pulling the trucks for the butchers halted, and this was somewhere near the finish of the 1900 years. Later on, these canines were put to use as gatekeepers, security canines, and were among the earliest police canines. This is still in style, and they even serve in the military. This large number of previously mentioned focuses don't imply the expression that they are legitimate to be pet as family canines. Going against the norm, notwithstanding, they go about as incredible family pets, watchmen, and companions. History how about we see where the Rottweiler canines came from. The Rottweiler is one of the most prepared of the swarming breeds. With a set of experiences possibly returning to the Roman domain, the Rottweiler may be a relative of old Roman drover dogs, a mastiff-type dog that was a solid, unpleasant dog with exceptional understanding and monitoring motivations. In the midst of their central goal to defeat Europe, the Roman armed forces crossed the central area. The shortfall of refrigeration constrained the officers to bring gatherings of dairy steers for food. Drover dogs held the symbol and protected it during the night. Around AD 74, the Roman military crossed the Alps and into what is as of now southern Germany. For the accompanying two centuries, the Roman drover dogs were being used in swarming and driving cows for trade even after the Romans were driven out of the district by the Swabians. The doggy breed was, in this way, named after Rottweil, a town in the district. It transformed into a basic trade center and the family members of the Roman cow dogs exhibited their worth by driving the cows to grandstand and safeguarding the cows from lawbreakers and wild creatures. The young doggies are said to have been used by traveling butchers in business areas in the midst of the medieval times to watch cash pockets died around their necks. The dogs were, eventually, known as Rottweiler Metzgerhens, or butchers canines. As rail lines turned the fundamental method for moving stocks, the interest in the Rottweiler breed declined and their numbers so truly decreased by 1882 that a show in how Brown included it only a solitary representative of the variety.
One, lochin. Furthermore, top in our most costly canine varieties rundown is the lochin. This canine is otherwise called the Little Lion Canine or Toy Canine and by the American Pet Hotel Club as a non-donning canine. The lochin is one of the most uncommon and special canine varieties on the planet. New enrollments of this canine consistently number just in the hundreds. Sticker price is least $7,000. Lochin canine variety actual elements, well-being, history, and prepping. Lochin canine variety personality, exuberant, tender, merry, friendly, and wise are only a couple of the words that can be utilized to portray the lochin canine variety which has likewise become known as the lion canine. This is a delicate and extremely touchy variety, and yet is brave and striking. The variety's excitement, capacity, and readiness to learn and insight make preparing simpler, yet frequently these canines can be somewhat areas of strength for obstinate and haughty, which can make the contrary difference. The lochin canine variety is an energetic canine and coexists well with different canines, different pets, and kids. Lochin canine variety actual highlights. Its dull, round eyes give this canine a keen articulation, and its short body is proportional and shrouded in lengthy hair. The coat tones can differ between dark, lemon, white, and spotted. The level of the Lochin canine variety is around 10 to 13 inches and the load around 9 to 18 pounds. The canine has a little, dark nose, and its energetic looking face is outlined with long pendant ears. Might it be said that he is ideal for you? The Lochin canine variety can make an extraordinary sidekick canine for families as well with respect to single individuals, couples, and more seasoned individuals. These canines are exceptionally cherishing, and their capacity to coexist with different creatures and children makes them ideal family pets. They will far well in loft as well as houses, however you ought to remember that they can be boisterous and bark a considerable amount. Lochin canine medical conditions. A few lines of this variety of canine can be inclined to a condition that influences many little canine varieties known as luxating patella. Yet overall, the Lochin canine is a sound variety with no significant medical issues related with it. Lochin prepping prerequisites. The front legs and rump of the Lochin are by and large cut. And this is the very thing that gives the variety the particular appearance that acquires it the moniker of the lion canine. The layer of the lotion needs to routinely brush and brush to prevent the coat from tangling and matting. You ought to likewise brush out dead hair consistently. Notwithstanding, this breed is a low shedder. Lotion history. This European variety really started in France and has been famous in numerous European nations for a long time. During the 1900s, the prevalence of the variety vacillated. And in 1960, they were named the most extraordinary variety by the Guinness Book of World Records, a title that is currently, in any case, presently not held by this variety. Ubiquity. In 2006, the Lochin positioned 130 second out of 155 on the AKC Ubiquity rundown. And this was an ascent from its 2005 place of 139th. K9 Gathering. The Lochin goes under the AKC non brandishing gathering. If you like this video, we'll subscribe to this channel. This channel aims to educate our audience on how to better care for animals and love them even more to bring amazing cute pets and animals from around the world. Please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. Share our videos. Thank you.